Folks, I'd like to comment on what many of you have been talking about and speculating about. You may have heard the news, and now that we know he is recovering, let me speak on John Casey, titan of this community, who suffered a stroke during the solar storms at the start of the month. He worked for NASA and NOAA, but lately has been focusing on the grand solar minimum to come and upheaval due to earthquakes, volcanoes, and adverse weather. During the strongest solar storms in a decade where the power of the solar blast coupled with the Earth, his stroke occurred at 2.30 in the afternoon. Now the perfect timing, even at the hourly scale, is a startling jolt, and while nobody will ever be able to say for sure if the sun had any role in the event that occurred in John Casey's life, it is precisely the thing we worry about. And we have indeed been worried. In the alert list for the disaster prediction app that day, the level 4 storm notification included, first and foremost, the health alert. While we have updated the health alert page since that time to be more user-friendly on a phone, it indeed contains the same cardiac and stroke information. And it's not based on speculation, but the recent Western-based studies confirming decades of Russian studies on the topic of heart vulnerability to solar storms. The days of highest geomagnetic activity see the highest numbers of heart attacks, strokes, and cardiac deaths of all kinds. This also happens to be true when things are too quiet. The previous literature indicates that these trends are seen over longer cycle periods and over short ones, like we see with these cosmic storms. At the 4th Observing the Frontier Conference, President's Day weekend 2018, there will be three presentations on space weather and human health, one from Dr. Adrian D'Amico, Assistant Professor and the Chief of Emergency Medicine at the VA Health Systems Pittsburgh, a five-star system and one of the best in the country. Dr. August Dunning, who has worked at NASA and Caltech and who will focus on solar energetic particle effects on our bodies. And I will likely be discussing potential mechanisms of action of these solar storms, although I really am aiming to fill the gap so I may pivot. In terms of forecasting the future of the sun, Dr. Lisa Upton is among the top three most important solar forecasters on Earth. She is a featured speaker and will be presenting on Saturday, back to back with our final featured speaker, Joan Burkpile, a leader in the ground-based coronagraph world, will present on solar storm detection, solar cycles, and the Earth-Sun interaction. This is just about as good as it gets for an observer. Favorites from last year will be back as well. The focus is on the sun, solar storms, solar cycles, and future predictions, and of course, the human health aspect of it all. Learn more at observatoryproject.com slash OTF2018, and you can register for the conference at otf.cells.com. Best wishes to the Casey family, and happy knowledge search to you all. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.